So what is a natural resource? A natural resource is anything that comes from the earth or is involved in nature. Things such as leaves, rocks, sticks, the air and the sunlight are all natural resources. But there are also things that are not natural resources. Things such as backpacks, your school books, and your clothes are not natural resources because they were made in a factory or produced by humans. The food we eat is also considered natural resources. Animals and plants are all considered natural resources. This carrot is a natural resource because it was grown in the ground. Natural resources are not made by humans, but we use them every day. Where else can we find natural resources being used? Natural resources are used to build houses. The bricks are made of sand, clay, and water, which are all natural resources. Architects and construction workers need to consider other natural resources when they're building a house. Houses need to be able to stand no matter what the weather, whether there's rain, snow, tornadoes, or extreme heat. What would happen if a house was missing a wall? Well, you'd get wet every time it rained. Many of you may have noticed that if you look around where you live, many houses look similar. For example, on all houses, walls go straight up and down so that the weight on the top of the house can be moved to the ground. If you live in an area of extreme snowfall, your house needs to be able to support itself even when there is five feet of snow on the roof. Houses need to be able to stand no matter what the weather is. Have you ever seen water droplets forming on top of leaves after it's rained? This is because leaves are covered in a special waxy surface called a cuticle. This cuticle keeps the leaf waterproof and it keeps water from getting into the leaf. Leaves with this waxy cuticle are known as photosynthetics. Photosynthetic. Photosynthetic is just a big fancy word describing leaves with this waxy cuticle. To show this, we can take a paper towel and a leaf. Which do you think is photosynthetic? The leaf or the paper towel? I'm going to pour some water on the leaf, and let's see what happens. As you can see, the water just drips off the leaf, but the leaf isn't wet. With the paper towel, if we pour water onto it, the water soaks into the paper towel, because the paper towel is not photosynthetic. Now, I hope you've enjoyed exploring natural resources and photosynthetic organs that make leaves waterproof, and go outside and collect some leaves and sticks. Then join me on Friday as we discover how we can use these natural resources and photosynthetic leaves to make a waterproof birdhouse.